Ever wondered if an entire culture can disappear without a trace, not by natural disaster, but by human actions? Picture this, a unique tapestry of traditions, language and heritage, all systematically erased. This is cultural ethnocide, the deliberate obliteration of an ethnic group's culture. It can unfold in numerous ways, forced assimilation, cultural suppression, even outright genocide. Imagine a world where the vibrant diversity of cultures is silenced, where distinct legacies are swept into oblivion by a single stroke. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Cultural ethnocide isn't a sudden act, it's a process. Picture a tapestry woven with threads of tradition, language, customs and values. This is culture, a vibrant and dynamic entity that forms the cornerstone of a society's identity. Now imagine those threads gradually being pulled out one by one. This is the grim reality of cultural ethnocide. The journey of cultural ethnocide typically begins with cultural suppression. The dominant group, often for reasons of power and control, starts to suppress the culture of a minority or indigenous group. The vibrant tapestry of their culture is slowly covered, its colors dimmed, its patterns obscured. It's akin to a bird being robbed of its song, its unique melody silenced. As we move further along this treacherous path, we encounter forced assimilation. The oppressed group is coerced, subtly or overtly, to adapt the culture, language and customs of the dominant group. They are pushed to abandon their own cultural practices, their own tapestry, and forced to weave in the threads of another. This is not a harmonious blend of cultures, but rather an imposition of one culture over another. The final stage is the complete erasure of the suppressed culture. The tapestry is fully obscured, its threads unwoven and replaced. The culture, once vibrant and alive, is now a mere shadow of its former self, if it exists at all. Think about the indigenous cultures under the colonial powers. Their rich cultural tapestries were systematically dismantled, their threads replaced. It's a slow, painful death of a culture, and often the world remains unaware. So why should this matter to you? Consider for a moment the spectrum of human experience. Each culture, with its unique customs, traditions and ways of thinking, adds a distinct hue to this collective canvas. It's like a vast mosaic where every piece, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, holds an essential place. Cultural diversity is not just about variety, it's about richness, depth and resilience. Every culture brings with it a unique lens through which to view and interpret the world. It provides a different angle, a fresh perspective, a novel approach. Cultural ethnocide, then, is not just an attack on a specific group of people. It's an assault on the diversity and richness of human civilization as a whole. It rips a piece from our collective mosaic, leaving a void that can never truly be filled. Every time a culture dies, we lose a unique perspective on life and the world becomes a little less diverse, a little less rich. It's time to take notice.